so here we are going to talk about weather it's very hot day okay so when it is very hot in summer you generally talk about the heat like oh the heat is unbearable okay so here kavya and paul talk about the heat which is unbearable in the room okay so kavya says oh the heat is unbearable didn't you turn on the air conditioner that means didn't you switch it on right so we use the word turn on the air conditioner pulses the heat has blown it has blown out the heat has blown out our air conditioner on the roof so air conditioner is there but the heat is unbearable so due to that effect due to that reason our ac is not at all functioning now it has gone you know it's you know it's like uh, not functioning that means there is something wrong with the ac in functioning so we need to get someone to get it repaired okay kavya what the ac so what are we going to do so what's our plan now to bear this heat and all paul says we need to have it fixed fixed what is the meaning of fixed fixed means solution so we need to have it fixed it means we need to find some solution as soon as possible i have called someone here you can understand fixed means as a repair also okay so it's like repair we need to get it repaired by some technician for the ac as soon as possible i have called someone that means the technician and they are going and they are on the way so that means they are coming kavya thank god you have done that okay thank god paul here you go okay here you go means take it what he wants you can use the electric fan so paul is giving to kavya some electric fan and here at least you can catch a breeze breeze means it's a very you know chill air cold air very cold air okay now let's take it into telugu translation first one kavya says oh the heat is unbearable chaala vediga undi asla chaala hot day lag undi ee summer lo didn't you turn on the ac ac on cheyaleda ani adugutundi anamata paal tho appudu paal answer chestadu the heat has blown our ac on the roof unna ac kuda poyindi aa anta heat undi anta heat undadam valla ac kuda cheyadu poyinchu varaki ani cheptadu kavya what the అని స్టాప్ చేసింది వాట్ ద అంటే ఆమె అంత షాక్ అయిపోయింది అనమాట ఏసీ పాడైపోయిందా అంత హీట్ అని సో వాట్ ఆర్ యూ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఏం చేద్దాం ప్లాన్ ఏం చేద్దాం ఒక ప్లాన్ చెప్పు అంటుంది పాల్ వీ నీడ్ టు హ్యాబిట్ ఫిక్స్ యాజ్ సూన్ యాజ్ పాసిబుల్ ఏం లేదు ప్లాన్ అంటే ఏముంది ఏసీ పాడైపోయింది వెంటనే ఏసీని ఏమన్నా టెక్నీషియన్తో ఫిక్స్ చేయించాలి ప్రాబ్లమ్ అదే సొల్యూషన్ అదే సో అట్లా ఫిక్స్ చేస్తే రిపేర్ చేస్తే ఆ ఏసీతో మనం హ్యాపీగా ఉండొచ్చు ఐ హ్యావ్ కాల్ సమ్ వన్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ ఆన్ ద వే ఆల్రెడీ ఫోన్ చేసిన వాళ్ళు వస్తున్నారు అంత వేలో ఉన్నారు దారిలో ఉన్నారు అని చెప్తాడు పాల్ కావ్య థ్యాంక్ గాడ్ పాల్ హేర్ ఈ గో తీసుకోండి అని ఇస్తాడనమాట ఒక ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫ్యాన్ని ఏమంటాడంటే హియర్ అట్లీస్ట్ యూ కెన్ క్యాచ్ ఎ బ్రీజ్ ఈ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ఫ్యాన్ పెట్టుకొని కొంచెం ప్రశాంతంగా చల్లటి గాలి ఎంజాయ్ చేయండి అని చెప్తాడు నా హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ అనదర్ కేటగిరీ దట్ ఈస్ వెదర్ so under weather we have a beautiful expression that is cats and dogs we use the word it's raining cats and dogs you know the meaning of cats and dogs in this situation it means you know it rains heavily for the meaning of heavily you use the word cats and dogs so it's it is raining cats and dogs today harika and varun talks about this rainy day now harika says wow you look like a drowned rat it's a very funny expression because drowned means actually wet w e t wet so actually here uh, you know it's like a funny comment okay it's been around 2000 years it's been in english from old english to the since 2000 years before christ only the expression is in english the a drowned rat means when you go out you didn't realize that you know some rain will be in the evening or after some time so once you come home you will come with your wet hair it's like strikes on your head right so you look like a, a wet rat at the time so harika laughs about varun in this situation she says wow you look like a drowned rat don't you know there is a thunderstorm it's very thunderstorm today varun says well i know there would be a shower a shower means it's a small rain like a few drops 
it's like a drizzling or we say shower means it's not bathing it's only like a slight rain not heavy rain right but i didn't realize it would rain cats and dogs rain cats and dogs means i didn't imagine that it would rain heavily so for the meaning of heavily cats and dogs now harika says here better you would better here the short form is you the pronunciation is you would in spoken form you will never say you would you would say you would okay you would better take a hot shower that means here it is not rain <laughs> it is only taking bath okay so you would better take a hot shower right now it's actually a suggestion given by harika or what will happen if you don't take a hot shower now you will catch a cold see the expression catch a cold that means you will get cold okay so here it is suggestion if you better take a hot shower otherwise you will get cold right so we use the word catch a cold varun i know i don't want to get sick see the word get sick if you don't take hot shower definitely right you would get sick that means you would get ill health especially during finals week during during means at present final exams are going on so you call it during finals week okay now let's take it into telugu it's raining cats and dogs today ee roju varsham etla padutundante chaala heavy ga padutundi ante pai ninchi vadaganlu padutunnai annattu ga anta varsham padutundi cats and dogs antam danni harika wow you look like a drowned rat ee roju chuste eluka ganaka tadichipoyi intiki vaste ade mana intlo tadichina tadichipoyi baaga vettiga ante hair etla untundi mottham tadichipoyi mottham oka rat laage etla vanukuntundi kada atla unna nu ani harika varun annindi didn't you know there is a thunderstorm today ee roju baaga heavy varsham padutundi varada laaga padutundani meeku teliyada mundhe ani adigindi varun well i know there would be a shower edo light ga varsham padutundi anukunnanu gaani but i didn't realize it would rain cats and dogs oh cats or dogs na pain padatti anta heavy varsham padutundi nenu asal anukoledu harika you would better take a hot shower first will munchi ga veedu nilto prashanthanga snanam chesko ledante or you will catch a cold ni kachithanga jalu padutundi ledante ani cheptadu అప్పుడు వరణ్ ఐ నో ఐ నో ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు గెట్ సిక్ ఇప్పుడు కనుక నేను హార్ట్ షవర్ తీసుకోకపోతే ఖచ్చితంగా నాకు సిక్ అయిపోతుంది బాడీ అంతా ఎస్పెషల్లీ డ్యూరింగ్ వీ ఫైనల్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఈ టైంలో ఎగ్జామ్స్ టైంలో నేను ఇట్లా సిక్ అవ్వడం ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు గెట్ ఇట్ నాకు అట్లా ఇష్టం లేదు థ్యాంక్ యూ